this is a short video just to demonstrate the confirmation option for bids and plays within BBO. Uh, if you frequently have to ask for undos in the bid nor the play, or you play in tournaments where undos are not permitted, you may find this useful. I inserted at a normal teaching table just to demonstrate the technique and it's my call. First of all though I'm going to go to the accounts tab and change my settings and we can see here in the playing section there are confirmed bids and confirmed cards. So I'm going to move the slider across for both of these and I'll now click on accounts just to close that and we'll see what difference that makes. So this hand is a normal weak no trump, so I'm going to bid one no trump. I'm actually going to alert it just in case the people I'm playing are not from the UK or I forgot to say I was playing a weak no trump. And then I'll click no trump. And you'll see here an OK button has come up. If you didn't have confirmed bids set, then one no trump would just appear on the table. So this OK button allows me to change my mind if I've misclicked. And you see one no trump has been alerted with the explained bid. Now the bidding's gone to east, the teaching table moves this around. You wouldn't experience this normally if you're playing at a regular table. And obviously east is going to pass. South has an interesting decision and should probably pass with 11 and a very flat hand. But we're going to use stamen and invite. So just alert this and we'll say it's stamen and OK. That means that west is going to pass and it needs to OK. No major. Mm -hmm. Pass and South will now just bid an invitation of two no trumps and we click the OK button. Pass by West. North as a maximum, so North's going to go on. And here I'll just go into my settings again and turn off confirm bids just to show what the difference is. And so here where I click three no trumps, it just goes straight in. It doesn't ask me for a confirmation. So we'll just pass it. Now the play is the same and you see I've clicked on the 10 and nothing has happened. So if I didn't have confirmed plays set in set then the 10 would have appeared on the table. But with confirmed plays the first click selects the card and the second click plays it. So this is really two clicks. A double click does work, which is what I'm doing here, but two taps is a slightly safer way. So click to select the card and then click to play it. So click for the first card. Maybe I want to leave the eight. So you can just change your card when Confirm Plays is on and it's only when you click it, the same card for the second time does it actually play it. And that's all those options do. As I say, particularly useful if you're not that confident with the mouse, uh, if you're using an iPad or a tablet and you have fat fingers and you find it hard to just actually click on the one you want. And especially useful if you play in an event where undos are not permitted.